For the first DIY, I'm using this really cute butterfly wood sign that I got from Michaels in the spring section. And I'm going to start by painting the background of the sign with some white paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint where all the little holes are all the way around the butterfly. And next up, I'm going to go ahead and paint the butterfly's wings with this purple color. And I used two different shades of purple for all the DIYs in this video. So I basically used the same purple color and added some white paint to it to make it a little lighter. And then a little bit of black to make it darker. So I had two of the same color purple in different shades. And then I went ahead and painted the body of the butterfly and the little antennas with some black paint. And I'm using my dotting tool to add some little black dots along the edges of the butterfly's wings at the top and the bottom to give it a little bit more detail. And finally, to finish up this DIY, I painted the outside edge of the sign using this darker shade of purple. And here is the finished little butterfly sign. I think this turned out really cute. Next up, I'm painting this wood birdhouse and I had painted this birdhouse before, but I didn't really like how it looked. It was a really long time ago when I painted it. So I painted over it with some white paint to give it a base coat to start off. And now I'm going in with my purple paint and I'm painting the main part of the birdhouse with this shade of purple. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the darker shade of purple to paint the bottom of the birdhouse. Of course, my birdhouse needs a little birdie, so I use this bird that I got in this wood icon pack from Hobby Lobby for spring, and I'm painting it with some light blue paint.
And then I went in with a slightly darker shade of blue and added this to the tail and the wings to give it a little bit of a shading. And to finish up this cute little bird, I painted its beak yellow. And then I went ahead and glued the little birdie onto the birdhouse to finish up this DIY. Next I'm using this wood sign from Michaels and I went ahead and cut off the twine at the top of it. And the reason that I'm using this sign is because it has three sections to it. So I ran out of wood crates which I normally use to make book stacks. So I thought I would use this to go ahead and make something similar. So I filled in the holes at the top with some spackling. I'm painting all three of the wood sections with a different color like I would for a book stack. So I went ahead and painted the bottom section with the dark purple color. And then I painted the middle section with the lighter shade of purple. And finally I painted the top part with some white paint. And then I went ahead and added on my saying like I would for a book stack. So for this one, I decided to add on the saying, spring is in full bloom. So here I am adding on all of the Cricut cutouts for that. And I decided to use one of these wood flowers from this same pack from Hobby Lobby and I painted it with the dark purple color. And then I glued the flower to the top left hand corner where there was a little bit of a blank space. And that finishes up this DIY. For the next DIY, I'm using this purple patterned paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm tracing out this wood plaque onto the paper and cutting this out so that I can glue it onto there. I added some Mod Podge straight onto the wood plaque and brushed this out before adding the paper on top. And for this sign, I'm using one of these watering cans that I got from Dollar Tree. And the little part at the top looked a little bit weird to me and out of place. So I just went ahead and cut that off so that everything looked a little bit more symmetrical. And then I went ahead and filled in the hole at the top as well. I decided to paint the watering can with a light gray color. And then I dry brushed on some white paint to give the watering can a distressed look. Now I'm going to glue the watering can onto the sign, but that's not quite it because we're going to be adding on another little extra detail. And to add some more detail, I'm using this tiny little wood butterfly and I'm painting the outside edge of the wings with the lighter shade of purple. 
the inside part of the wings with some white paint and then the body of the butterfly with the dark purple. And to finish up this DIY, I glued on the wood butterfly onto the watering can. For the next DIY, I'm using this wood coaster from Michaels for this sign and I'm painting it with some white paint for the base coat. Next I dry brushed on some light gray paint to give the sign a distressed look. I wanted this sign to say welcome spring so I used my Cricut to cut out the word welcome and now I'm going to add that on to the top of the sign. And for the word spring I'm having the eye be a painted on flower so I didn't cut that letter out and I'm going to add all the other letters on first. And please ignore the fact that the R and the P are flipped around, so spring is technically spelled wrong. I didn't notice this somehow until after I finished the sign. I, I do know how to spell. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but yeah, so just ignore that. So I'm going to go ahead and paint on a simple little flower for the eye. So I'm just using some light green paint to paint on a stem with two leaves. And then I used the purple color to paint on a simple little flower that looks like a tulip. And here is the finished sign. Don't worry, like I said, I realized I spelt spring wrong. I just mixed the letters around when I was putting it on. So it's all fixed now. And for the last DIY for this tear tray set, I made a beaded garland and I painted the large wood beads with the light purple color and then white. And then I painted some medium sized beads with the dark purple and then I also added on some natural wood beads that were a bit smaller and I just strung these on in a pattern to create this really cute beaded garland.
And for the wood tag, I decided to decorate it by painting on some lavender flowers. And so here I am just painting three of those. And I decided to also paint on a cute little bee in the corner here at the top. To make the bee, I just painted on a little yellow oval and then I added on all the details using a black pen. And sorry that the lighting is really bad. I was running out of daylight, but I really wanted to finish up this DIY because it was the last one that I needed to do to finish up this tear tray set. Mm -hmm. 